You know what? Find the corner. Whoa. What the heck? What is that? I'm really good. Oh my god! Why is this happening? Whilst I'm trying to do my intro, there is a fit. If she comes out, I'm actually taking. No, do nothing! I'm literally trying to do my intro! Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. So what is going on guys, this is Ryan here and welcome to Infliction. So this is a game I've actually played before on the channel, I think it was around about two or so months ago in like a two awesome horror games episode. And, uh, I'm gonna be completely real with you guys, okay? Going into this thing, I think this game's gonna be inflictioning some horror on our, on our backsides just... I, I, I couldn't come up with anything more, okay? You can boo as much as you want. Okay. This is the place between places. Here there can only be sadness and resolution. This is where the lost are found and vengeance rears its ugly head. Vengeful souls are born of violent death. The Necronomicon Abandoned Volume Number 3. Ooh, we should have stayed abandoned with some blurbs like that crap. Anyway. Got like a little story here. Hey, let's go. That, that's a bit coincidental, right? You, have you know? One unheard message. I thought I said 100 message. Unheard message. One unheard message, okay. Hi, Who's baby. Still? I'm stuck at the gate and they won't let me through. Dang. When you get back home, can you look for my ticket? I must have left them behind. Ticket. Have a good look around and let me know. What the you. freak you off to, huh? And that's it. Wow. Oh, dang. Uh, somewhere in a hurry? You know, tree kind of stopping you right there? Uh, you know what? Yeah, the cops got that one. Come on, bro. Eyes on the road. It's not your business. Might be someone hurt right there. Hopefully not, though. That the men have suffered from cabin fever and were perhaps accidentally washed out to sea. Wow. Cases like this have been reported on in the past, but have never been fully resolved. All that radio stuff, bro. Investigation has begun into this bizarre case. We'll update you as the story progresses. Wow. We called it at just the right time as well. How about that? And so here we go. Infliction. Wow. Find the plane tickets with that freaking. Give me that flashlight. Yeah, we're gonna take that with us again with the freaking boom. <laughs> like seriously, turn the flashlight on. Take your first step. <laughs> Alright, hold up a sec. There you go. Flashlight off. Let's conserve that battery. Okay, that door must be locked. Again, the common problem with these people. They just can't get in their own homes. Kind of sucks, you know, being locked out of your own freaking apartment. How about this door here? Let's try it. Locked again. And this one here. What is this? Oh great, we're back outside. Perfect. Okay, we're gonna close the door behind us. Now we can go slightly around the front, though. <laughs> I think that must be a mailbox. That looks very weird, though. I'm just saying. All right. Let's not spook ourselves out, though, just yet. But that door, of course, is going to be locked up. Fear then, though, guys. Like, it's going to be one of those cold, windy nights out here, you know? Seems to be the way as well. You hear all that stuff going on. Let's get the freak inside. Going to catch the chills at this rate. So, this is going to open up. And here we go. Home sweet home. Dang. This place looking pretty fancy as well. Not bad. Okay, it's just a clock. All right. What do we have here? Can we pick this up? Hold up. The eye is like looking. Oh, zoom in. All right. Where our little girl is. Ah. I'm, wow. I'm not sure exactly what's going on here, but she can already draw better than I can. Sure. She takes yes. after her daddy. 3.45 in the morning as well. Hold on. Let me just confirm. It is 3.45. Hold on. What's this here? A dog, maybe? A big box. Big box? What is it? Oh, there's wow. a puppy. Nice hey. rabbit Okay, I see oh that. Oh my god, a puppy. Being that good husband, huh? This. Yes, we did. Her. That was quick. I'm gonna call you Sally. <laughs> okay, okay. Now it's time for your gift. Uh, <laughs> just saying, glad the memory cuts there. Hello? Anyone home? Let's go ahead and flick the lights on in this room, too. Come on, right now. No one is here whatsoever. This is kind of strange. In here? Uh. Hold up just a sec. Yo, what demons be in this freaking room here? None? What the heck was that sound? That was kind of strange, right? It sounded like a demon having a mass thought process in a debate with himself. Just hope he resolved it and he's not feeling too mad, okay? Wow. Nice little fireplace, too. So this will be our you, wife, I'm guessing. Sarah Angel Adage. Take Gary Ryan Powell to be your <laughs> Wow, that voice, though. To have to hold from this day forward. So this is the for couple. Better, Sweet. Worse, richer for poorer. In okay. sickness and in health. Until death do you part. I do. Sweet. That dude had the huskiest marriage voice I've ever heard, though. You know what I'm saying? Okay, let's check out the bedroom anyway. 
Got a flickering light over there. I mean, uh, you know, early days to call this paranormal, but kind of strange. Turn that junk off. So what's this here? Pleasant full security doors. Oh, okay. So this must be... I guess our job. At least that's what I'm thinking. So we're going to go ahead and put that thing down. <laughs> the code was 0516. Zero. What the heck? Movement. Uh, I mean, yeah, I am kind of moving. Wait, what is going on? Why is it beeping? I'm trying to type the thing in. What's going on? Okay, so my guess is we don't use that just yet. Let's uh, explore up here some more, see if there's anything else out of the ordinary. What? What the freak is going on? This place is freaking me out, dude. Inside the girl's bedroom? Uh, cuddle snug fit. Nice. And you've got a load of wet wipes. Okay. Dude, I don't like this house at all. It's too big. Too many... Maggie's room. Hey, Maggie. Oh. You, uh... You wanna play Maggie hiding in there? Yeah, of course she's freaking not. Aha! Right here. So is this it? 0516, I believe? That was it. Okay, so let's go ahead and go on in. Couple of magazines right there. Computer is whirling away as well. Disgusting! Uh, dang. This is the kind of art you're into? I mean, look, if it sells and pays the bills, I ain't gonna complain. So, the plane ticket's right here. Take these with us. Now, okay, find the plane tickets, objective complete. Next step then is to probably call our wife or something like that. Why am I typing with the screen off? Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Okay, thank goodness the door doesn't open in this case. Though this feels slightly uneasy. You know what? Find the corner. Oh, what the heck? What is that? Where in the freaking- What are you doing? What's with the mask? What? So that's how- <laughs> Wow! So there's a freaking killer! No way! Dude, this is some like dark room crap! Get the hell out of- What? I have just ascended, literally, into the freaking underworld right now. Can I open this? Okay, thank you, door. Appreciate that. Ah! Bro, I'm too on edge. I'm too on edge. I'm too on edge. I can't run. I can't run on nothing. Oh my god. I'm sorry, baby! I gotta get my way out. I'll come straight back with uh, the cavalry. I ain't going back upstairs. Nah, you can skip that. This way here. Okay, garage. Go, go, go. Into the car, maybe? Seems to be the only thing I can do. It is! What the freak? This game just went from zero to a hundred and it's holding? Right now. Okay, the engine does start. Okay. Is that our wife? I'm so confused right now. This is so freaking weird. Put your freaking foot. Oh, uh, uh. So. Okay, that's kind of cool. That was actually very smart. That was a cool way to unveil a plot. Whoa. So then the police arrived. So are we already caught right now or did we run? Now, what the freak is going on? I remember crashing a car. Now I'm waking up on a bloodied old floor. What truly happened, huh? We gotta find out. Why did we do what we did? And all the crap above. Oh my gosh. To find a way to vanquish the spirit. Okay, so we just went ahead and killed someone. And now we're acting like we're the freaking victim. If you look, you can actually see a trail of, uh, I guess, our own footsteps. <sighs> now the spirit is roaming the house, though, you know? I don't know. Oh. Every croak just feels like, uh, you know, tenfold. Because that could be definitely the spirit walking, and, uh, you know, it probably likely is. But you know what? As far as I'm concerned right now, no one else is home. Who the freak broke that? I paid money for that! Okay, hold up. I got a spirit in the house. Let's focus on that first. Uh, you can replace a baby stroller. So, uh, by the way, how the freak- How do you do that? How do you keep that clean of plants watered and stuff? No questions asked. Let's go ahead and try and vanquish this spirit. Okay, let's open this one. Locked up. This one here. Uh, Locked up two. How about the double doors? Of course they would open. Alright, so we're trying to find something to vanquish the spirit then. I guess it's finding the doorway that might lead us to, uh, whatever, really? What up? What is this? Tragedy oh. has struck I like that. Ball. Uh, rotate. Chef. I don't think that home. means anything. She was brutally stabbed over ten times. Time. The victim's wow. name was Sarah Powell. Oh, Sarah man. Sarah managed to make a call to 911 before she succumbed to her injuries. Wow. The primary suspect of this brutal murder is believed to be her husband, Gary Pout. Yeah, they're right. He found a seat right. only mere blocks away, slumped yeah. over the steering wheel of his car. Where are we right now? After a collision with a tree. The murder so we're dead. found in the car with him, leading investigators to speculate that he crashed his car while fleeing the scene of... I've heard enough. So we're already dead right now. Look, it's like we're stuck in some kind of purgatory state. This is kind of jacked up, though. I don't know what we're looking for right now. Fortunately, though, the fridge is fairly stocked up, so even in death, at least we're eating good. How about the bedroom here? It's a croaky old floor right there. 
open this. How about this one here? A book. There is some stuff in here. Who is he? My thoughts are dark, a black as night, life is sparse, a total absence of light. When it's all over, come find me there. A broken soul, I belong nowhere. For th That was nothing? Okay, turn the page. It's a lot June of text 6th, right here. 1999. Uh-huh. My hands are shaking as I write this. Maggie's gone. Michael's gone. Okay. And Gary's gone too. At least the man I love is. Whoa. It's just me and the monster living inside Gary. Dang. And the beatings are getting worse and I'm running out of excuses. Oh, what? I'm so tired. This poor female right now. This is really peeing me off. Yesterday. Like, I hate this character we are right now. Dang, I don't want to hear that. We deserve whatever's about to happen. Look, not me though. I'm just experiencing this. Okay. Boy. Ah. Uh, Sarah? You, uh... You want to come to bed? You forgive me right now? Oh, God. Probably not. She's trying to pull. It's a push door. Okay? Try and give it a push. May help? What's going on? I ain't moving. <gasps> what the freak? Oh, that was messed up. Okay, this is weird. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Thank you, spirit. Even though you're the one that just did that, I'm sure. Oh. This game is freaking me out a lot. Okay, open. Jeez. I look in the mirror. I see only a husk. What the freak is this? Eyes right now? Remember that? Okay. Oh, that door there. Oh my god, dude. The emphasis on the croaks and stuff is freaking me the heck out. The uh, phone's ringing. 911, who this? Okay. I'm not getting it, demon. I'm not getting it. Okay, you can go down. I guess not. Oh boy. I can't put the phone down. Okay, fortunately they hung up first. Okay, door closes. Now, I remember the puzzle here, okay? If we pull that off right there, we've got ourselves a mirror. Okay. Ooh. Now, the key to this is looking in the mirror at the door. And in turn, it opens it for us. Or do we enter, like, another world right now? Keep out. Look, I'm coming down, Sarah. I know you're down here. Let's just get this over and done with, okay? The sooner you can kill me, the sooner, uh... Okay, don't kill me, please. Yeah, these boxes can get the heck out of the way. And we gotta get ourselves behind. Come on, squeeze through right now. Bit more. There you go. Now, it's right in the corner here. There's some crazy demonic cult crap going on. Look at this junk. Give me that crap. Look at this. So, maybe we was inspired. I think I see it this time. It was much darker last time, right? Okay, we've got a book here. Oh my god. Look, I don't want to read that crap. Yeah, we've been reading the wrong stuff. Look at all this. Dang, find a way to vanquish the spirit. Let's put the book down. I can't put it down. Uh, please let me put it down. All right. Wow. Okay, here we go. Ah! You can knock a paint gun over. My god. <laughs> Whoa. That just amped up loads. Okay, I don't know how to vanquish the spirit. Uh, I don't know. Can I say some crap right now? Let me go to- Sarah, can we hug this out? Ah! Okay. Alright. Don't hug a demon. That was neck break. Wait. The solution wants to get broken neck in her right now. Over ten managed to make a call. Like a Nine one one had been victim to domestic abuse. Yeah, oh, we deserved it. Wow, man. We were that bad husband right now. So what happened next? I have no idea. Yeah, get the freak up, bro. Feet weighing like a ton. It's the same house. So. Find some of her remains. This game is strange so far. So we've modified the painting. It's almost like layers of fear this game's reminding me of. You know how you start then in the same location and then I guess things change up? So... Look, maybe you're leading me, I guess, to that good stuff? You'll be down here soon. Down where? The freaking toilet bowl? Ooh. That's horrible. Let's try Maggie's room. How about this? That looks like a memory! So we'll go ahead and play the tape. What is this memory? That's a good mic, all right? This is Sarah reporting live from Maggie's bedroom. Aww. Whispering, so we don't wake Daddy after his night shift. What do you have to say, Maggie? Anything new to report? Lulu Gaga? <laughs> Looks like we're having trouble. Valid statement. Maggie. Wow. <laughs> Come on, don't be She's shy. kind then. Can I stop that? Yeah, thank you. Ooh. Oh. 
So the house is changing. You know, this is kind of interesting. I'll give it that. It's uh, again doing kind of like what a horror PT thing does, but with its own unique spin. Couple of new things each time. I guess it's figuring out like the puzzles relating to them for the most part. Okay, let's check the garage here. Where the freak my car gone? Sorry, you take my car? Ooh. That's interesting, right? Looks like there's a crime scene or something. Sarah? Try to. Bro, I'm locked in place. I can't move. Ooh, okay. Okay. I can deal with this. Okay, now I kind of said I can't deal with this. Gonna be real. Ooh, that's a lot of pills. Oh my god. Does that say unlock for some? Oh, uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Unlucky for some. Okay, that doesn't open. Uh, you know what? No time to read. No time to read. This sounds really dramatic. Right then, we've got a camera here. Take with you. You just picked up a camera. To switch to camera, press. Aye. Press what? Photos will reveal hidden clues and surprises you wouldn't normally see. If you're stuck, try taking a photo. Okay, the camera has unlimited film, but if you see film in the world, it's a reminder that maybe you should try. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, so see to use our camera. Dude, this is freaking. Hold up, take a picture. Oh boy. Okay, gonna wobble that thing just a bit, I think. Dude, this game is cool, right? I think this is made as well by one singular person. So, I'm into this right now. I'm gonna let this thing do its thing a little bit more. Okay, loads of pills. Do we look at these then? I'm not so I can pick it up. Problems. We are. I just need to numb the pain. Oh, there were hers. It's the only thing I can do to not feel. That's so disappointing. How about we take a picture of this where it says unlucky for some? There's some more above that. I see that. Though I can't see what it says. It's so dark. Maybe wobble it some more? <laughs> If we turn the flashlight on, it says riddle me this, though I can actually see that above there, right? So, I don't really know what else we use the camera for at this moment in time, at least. What about if we take a picture of this archway here? I feel like there should be a door there, right? Oh boy, why is it gonna be telling me to go closer? Oh gosh. Oh gosh, can we walk through it? We can't. Maybe a closer picture, it means? Smile for the camera? Look at that, it changed! There's like a devil head key or something? So like, right here. Okay, one more picture! Okay. Can I have the key now? It's right there. I see. Then we can take it. Okay, take with us. Yeah, let's go. All right, so it goes for the lock right here. Use that thing. I'm not alone. You're definitely not alone. Yeah, we got those demons by the sounds of it. This allows us to the place we wanted to go before. Interesting. Oh, boy. Hold up. Okay, what's that's going on? Let me, uh... Yeah, hey, you know what? I'm gonna hold on. ...from the CADB, where hey. Citizens Against Domestic Violence had mentioned that during a press statement that it's easy to turn a blind eye to domestic violence by explaining away the problem. No. In cases like these, the victim is in love with their assailant. As we all know... Hey. Games out here making me feel so bad for this poor woman. Whoops. I shouldn't have closed that, should I? I feel like I may have just messed up right now, guys. Hold up. Is it another looping hallway thing right now? Hold up. That was different. Okay, there's a lot of, uh, alcoholic Who bottles right here. are you? In a demons. All you do is drink. Yep. <sighs> Monster. With that person, guys. Like this anymore. What the freak is that? What is this? What the heck? Look, I know you're into that unique art and so am I. No, I'm in like a hospital. Am I inside my brain? I'm kind of getting like this is being uh, a little bit kind of... I'm gone. Down we go. Deeper and deeper into the unknown right now. Something flashing there. So that is the hint then to use our camera. We'll take it with us, I guess. Doesn't really matter. Oh boy. Okay, snap. Smile for the camera. Okay, is there something there? There's a blood trail. Oh, it's gonna lead us to our destination, right? Where big old tubby butcher dude is. There's another blocked off thing here. You know what? Always snap a picture of these things. So let's take in a turn into the room toward our left. So that one there is going to be the solution. Look, if I've just been done goofed by a camera right now, I won't be happy. Oh boy. At least not yet anyway. Okay. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Again. Neck got broke by a demon. Now if I wake up in my bedroom again... Why does this demon keep breaking my neck and helping me? Look, she's watching over me right now. This is so sad. What is even happening by this point? This game is pretty crazy. It's a good little indie horror game, guys, you know? I like these experiences because it's like you don't have to zone into it, but it offers a very unique story. And because it's like one person telling it, there's no muddling up with the process of actually getting his story across. I'm kind of feeling like I want to check down in the basement. Got a flickering light. Okay. Uh, lights. Now messing up, so I may backpedal. You know what? Screw it, man. Commit. We're gonna commit to this one here. Now, 
we actually can't get back there. Uh, can we use this? I guess not. Okay, how about this thing here? Okay. Kind of cute, but I ain't in the mood for cute right now, so you can go away. Okay, what the heck is going on? Bro, this is messing me up because she's glitched out here. Don't get me. That's even freakier with the fact that this animation is glitched up right now. Uh, you stay there. I'm going in here. Okay. Oh, boy. I... Oh, I'm closing the door. That's freaking me out. Okay, so in the little kid's bedroom, we heard the tape before. Oh, no. Oh, no. Like, listen, daughter. Uh, like, I have no excuse, actually. Well, the picture didn't help. Okay, she's still glitched out. I literally feel like I want to walk into her just to stop. I feel like she's going to run. Okay, there you go. But if you're gone, <laughs> but that's fine, okay? If I snap that right there, because uh, there was some lettering on the door. Just a toilet bowl. Hold on, we got any ghost poops down here? Look, guys, I gotta be curious, okay? Do they flush? Uh, yeah. Yeah, they do. I've checked every room upstairs. So the thing we're looking for isn't up here. I'm really good. Oh my god! <laughs> Ah, uh, neck broke. So, what now? Because if neck break, we progress. Okay, so I think in that occasion, I must have genuinely died. Uh, alright, there must be a solution to that part then. Okay then, guys, well, for this episode of Infliction, I am gonna leave it here. That was an interesting horror experience, though. A nice little indie game, doing its own thing, just fun all around, basically. I don't know if this is gonna become a series, guys, but uh, I guess based on the response, we may at least do a part two, because that's generally what goes down on this channel. Other than that, though, guys, that's what I'm gonna call this video, and I hope you did enjoy. If you did, why not drop me that like rating, and hey, if you're new around here, why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here. So, thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I, of course, hope you did enjoy, and I will, of course, see you on the next one.